we have a situation. They say that a prominent, a prominent LGBTQ um, person, community activist and or a person um, has been charged with graping two children, two youngins. Here we go. Now the details here. Philadelphia transgender activist mm. identified as Kendall Stevens is now charged with sexually assaulting two children under the age of 13. Mm. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she's live for us outside police headquarters with the new details we're learning about this, Annie. And Gray and Shari, disturbing details. Kendall Stevens was arrested today for the rape of a minor. Sources confirm that she is the same Stevens who is a prominent LGBTQ activist in the city. Uh-oh. The state attorney general's office filed charges tonight against 37-year-old Kendall Stevens. The charges include the indecent assault against a person less than 13 years old, rape, unlawful contact mm. with minor sexual offenses, and endangering the welfare of children. Jesus, look at all them charges. Wow. Mm. Parent or guardian. Stevens came to Action News in August of 2020 after she was attacked in her Point Breeze neighborhood. She says she was targeted by a violent group for being a trans woman. Mm. Stevens then became a prominent activist for the LGBTQ community. She urged lawmakers to change Pennsylvania's hate crime statute to include protections for LGBTQ people. She is seen here in March of 2021 at a press conference launching District Attorney Larry Krasner's LGBTQ plus advisory board the board yes this is a travesty board was created travesty. Yeah, in yeah. part to be a source of information and resources mm. for victims and survivors of crime within the community it means to me that the transgender population will finally get the support that we need from city officials that we really haven't gotten historically sources tell mm -hmm. action news the charges are in relation to the rape of two young boys under the age of 13. Mm, two young boys Mm. Stevens remains in custody tonight. A spokesperson for the district attorney's office said in a statement, the investigation of allegations against her is being led by another agency. And as such, we have no comment. They have no comment. They ain't got nothing to say. They ain't got nothing to say right now. And I'm pretty sure that they won't have nothing to say until um, all of the evidence is in place. And this person is really, really charged and, and, and convicted of the accusations that's being accused out here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Judge did set bail at $250,000. The next court appearance is scheduled for December 29th. Often, the state attorney general's office takes on cases from local district attorney's mm -hmm. offices if there's a conflict. We're now reporting live mm -hmm. outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Annie McCormick for Action News at 10. Now, why hasn't the LGBT community came on around there and bonded um, I will trans sister PHL 17. Hmm? Gray and Shari. Yeah, Annie, thank you. A story that we will stay on top of. Thanks for the update. Say so him is a map. <laughs> listen, she listen. Stevens came to act. Why, 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 why ain't the LGBT community standing up for our LGBT trans sister out here in these streets we got to really think about it we got to delve in we got to think about it because we live in the greatest country on in, in on the planet right all right we live in the greatest country. i'm innocent till proven guilty so somebody should but hell believe all women somebody should believe all women right and then our trans sister so why ain't nobody that done bonded our trans sister out that's something really, really to think about. Something really, really to think about. Say 250. Say they ain't playing with the shim. Show enough ain't. Show enough ain't. Mm-hmm. These type of things is happening. And it's happening more and more and more. And shout out to the media for actually saying that this is LGBT. Because a lot of times they don't. They really, really don't. And I am one who will point it out that this is LGBT. God damn it. Let, let, let. Let's point out that not only heterosexual people do stuff, but also homosexual people do stuff too. We humans. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much, hold you.